guys. So a few of you have asked me, what is a day in the life of Dr. Wendy Osefo like? On this episode, you guys are going to spend 24 plus hours with me as I head to New York City to film the Sherry Shepherd Show. So welcome to the Dr. Wendy Show. Let's get it. Whiskey. Wake up, you know we late. Girl, oh my gosh. gosh. It's time to get dressed. What time is it? Are we late? How y'all get here? You know we the squad. I got the key. Okay. Yeah. It's time to get We're dressed. dressed. to have my girl Wendy looks fabulous. We're going with a clean, chic, posh look and I can't wait for you guys to see it. This is the behind the scenes that y'all don't know. Memorable experience and what is it like working with women? My most memorable experience is last year's reunion. I think everything went smooth. But when we walked in there, we executed everything and everything was planned out. It's something that I've been wishing for like the last three years. Mm -hmm. And everything was flawless. Like we did we did like a whole mock trial like a month before and I've been saying like for the, for the last three years like let's do mock trials before we get there and try to figure out the day of because that's too much pressure and last year we just executed everything and I feel like the fans seen it. <laughs> right. The season seven RHOP reunion but I will also say what people may not know about that reunion is that we finalized the dress in at three o'clock in the morning. No, in the oh, green room. In the yeah. green room. In the green room. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of we back had back. we had my hair, my makeup done. We had two dresses, and they were literally banging on the door, and was like, "When it's time for you to come out." Oh, and yeah. it was either that dress that you guys saw me wear, or was another dress. And if you're wondering why there was so much of a hiccup, it was because that dress I ended up choosing, the sketch, and how we expected it to look, was totally different than how it turned out. And I remember, shout out to Chanel, my stylist, when we made the executive decision to go with, like I even FaceTimed my mom and my sister, I was like, which one, which one? And when we made the executive decision to go with that dress from season, for season seven reunion, I remember Chanel saying, people are either gonna love this or they're gonna hate it. Like it was, it's gonna be, it's gonna be polar. So you have to own it and you are gonna have to sell the dress. And I remember her saying that and I was like, oh shoot. It was literally down to, we had to go out, literally. Yeah, yes. it was like 10 days. minutes. She was about to get I mic. was getting mic and they couldn't mic me because we were deciding we what dress. We wouldn't let them in the room. We were like, we're coming. Right. We were deciding what dress to go with. And I remember when after, after we decided on the dress, I put it on, they opened that door and I said, you got oh, you, there's a dress. You got to own it. And I walked out. And when I walked out, I remember everybody's face, and even Andy was like, <gasps> and I was like, this was a choice. Yeah. But yeah, but I it was, was a train on it too that we had to chop. Yes. Oh yeah, there was a train. There was a train on that dress. At three o'clock in the morning. At three o'clock in the morning, we cut off the train for the reunion dress. Like this is the behind the scenes that y'all don't know. So it's crazy, and I appreciate everyone. I mean, I had some people saying it was the best reunion dress they've ever seen, like ever. And just thank you. But sometimes, you know, the larger story, you know, I always love a, a, a takeaway. The larger story is you have to believe in yourself and have confidence in yourself. That's the only way you could sell anything. Because if I would have walked out there like this, y'all would be like, what's wrong with her? But baby, I had my 30 inch bust down middle part. I had this dress on, I was like, and it's time. She walked in and she said, the professor is here. It's here. Rocks. It's here. <laughs> Hey 
Hey y'all, we are all dressed. We are ready to head to the Sherry Shepherd Show. Stay tuned, it's almost go time. Okay, after sitting through three hours of glam, I do not like glam. I feel like I've told y'all that before. But we, please, quiet on the set. Um, we are officially in the car. We are headed to the Sherry Shepherd Show in New York City. All is well. It is cold though. I'm giving y'all a, um, Chanel, what do we call this look? We called it a posh. A posh. Winter posh Barbie. Winter posh Barbie. Um, Fun yeah. fact, we name all of our looks. Oh, yes. <laughs> Chanel names all of her looks. Do we think comments are healthy or negative? Or do we got to have a good balance? Oh, so that's a great question. People's opinion really doesn't, don't bother me. It doesn't. It used to. My first, my first season on the show, comments bothered me because I was wondering, like, because I would watch shows, but I never was one to then go on social media and talk about shows. Same. So I never knew that that existed, like the fan culture like that. And so I, I, I was taken aback by how many opinions people have and how strong their opinions are. But now in my fourth you know. year, in the words of Beyonce, I'm not even trying to like drop <laughs> F-bombs like that. I used to care about what people thought about me now. Like I don't. like. And that is such a beautiful place to be in your life when you do not care what people say about you. Because the truth of the matter is, why would you care about what somebody says about you when they don't even know themselves? Mm. How can you tell me who I am when you don't even know who you are? Leave me alone. I know who I am. I don't need y'all's validation. But thank you for the positivity. Thank you for the positive comments. I love that because at the end of the day, it takes nothing to be a kind person so thank you for the positive stuff but the negative stuff that's like man people only speak from a place in which they are situated where their mm -hmm. feet hurts so where you're speaking from is from your pain like I remember we did my annual family holiday picture the black and white one and I had my hand on Eddie's thigh a little bit on the picture and I remember some people were in the comments saying, oh my gosh, she's so insecure. Why does she have her hand on her husband's thigh? What? <laughs> You're insecure. You feel like whatever you've been through in your life. People try to push that, their narrative. People try to push their narrative, their projection, their insecurities onto you. No, I got my hand on my husband's thigh because that was one of the 200 poses we did. And that's the one where all the kids were looking at the camera. And so what if I'm touching my hand's husband's thigh? Is it, is it not my thigh? It's my husband's thigh. It's my thigh. That's my thigh. <laughs> Don't y'all be so mad. Like, mad about what? Like, in the words of my 10-year-old son, Carter, <laughs> go touch grass. Go outside, go touch some grass. <laughs> Life will be okay. Is this it? We just pulled up. And we're here! Yes. How are you? How you doing? They have this in a 14. I love your dressing rooms. 
Oh, thank the you. I love Lucy Rubens. That's my girl. We wanted to give it a little bit. Yeah, you know, a little bit Should. of something. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yes. Like the little sister act cat. I, I, I know. I know. Is love this a Mary Queen? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> thank y'all for being oh, here. You. It's gonna be fun. We're yeah. out of time. Yeah. The audience is live. The oh, audience is live. When I did the promos, they were like going crazy. Oh, so, Lord. Yes. Okay. Oh, they're waiting for you. Let's have a time. Have a time. Hi, how are you? Okay, how are you? I'm so great. I'm Ali, and I'm Hi. a talent intern. And I have a talent book that I have on guest side. Oh, that is so yeah. cute. You can write like a little note to share your Absolutely, yeah. I would love to. It's S H E R R I, right? Yes. Sherry, thank you, yes, you do. for being an inspiration to so many of us. We love you. Okay. All right, Sherry girl. Please welcome Candace Dillon Bassett and Dr. Wendy Osefo. I want to I want to address you in the correct way. Oh, okay, boy. is it this is important. tell me is it Dr. Wendy, okay. is it Dr. Osefo, okay. or is it like your your self-proclaimed nickname uh. Zenwin? Well, you know what? Since you're my cousin, I would let you call me Wendy. Okay. But since we want to keep our foot on the other girl's necks, it's, uh, it's going to be Dr. Wow. Dr. Wendy. <laughs> degrees do you have? Oh my gosh. Um, so I have... I love when you go, oh my gosh. You know... Me, it's I, a burdensome task. It, it's a burdensome <laughs> task to be an intellectual. <laughs> but we, we have four. You have four degrees. We have a Bachelor of Arts. We uh. have a Master of Arts. We have a Master of Science. And we have a Doctor what? of Philosophy. <laughs> Y'all are sitting here. I love it so much. So with the masters, like, why did you decide, I'm gonna do the housewives? For me, I think it was really important because growing up, I didn't see anyone that looked like me on TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. And being the first Nigerian housewife in Bravo TV history, yeah. that was something that really was near and dear and continues to be near and dear to my heart because just having Nigerian culture displayed on television is so important. Yes. Yes. And I just wanted to see my myself on TV and I'm so thankful that now I'm able to say, you know what, maybe I wasn't able to, but the next generation can yes. say, I see someone that looks like me. That's right. Well, you know what, Wendy, it's so funny because when you're the first, it, do you feel like it's there's any kind of pressure when you say I'm the first, mm -hmm. you know, Nigerian woman yeah. on TV? Ooh. Do you feel any kind of like un burden on your shoulders? You know what? As Nigerian people, we're not monolithic, mm -hmm. so I can only represent that in which I know of. Yes. But I do think what my mom has always said to me is, yes, you can be the first, but make sure you're not the last. Yeah. And that's what matters. Leave the door open. Leave that door open. Leave the door open. Now, uh, Wendy, congratulations on your YouTube series, yes! The Dr. Wendy Show. Thank congratulations. You. Thank you so much. So tell us about this. Okay, so I have been a political commentator on different networks, and I said, you know, since you've been doing this, it's time for you, Brandon. Child, it comes that time in your career when you're like, I want to have my own. Mm. I want to not be censored in what I say. So I started the Dr. Wendy Show. It's a weekly YouTube series every Monday at 4 p.m. And I talk about politics, pop culture. I talk about family issues. I got to interview Gia Peppers, who's an on-air personality. I mean, I do all the things. Yes. And I'm just so excited to have this platform to be able to speak openly and candidly about things that are near and dear to me. Yes. I'm gonna have Sherry on. Oh, Y'all, well, Sherry's coming yes. on the Dr. Wendy yes. Show. Absolutely. Guys, we are officially 
done filming the Sherry Shepherd Show. Thank you for being with me for, what, 24 hours the whole day? This is what it's like in the life of Dr. Wendy. Thank you for coming on the journey. Hope y'all enjoy it, and I'll see you at the next Dr. Wendy Show episode.